Hey, welcome back again to Smart Deport. Android has gone leaps and bounds in the past 10 years, but when it comes to backing up everything, I mean everything, in a single one click, <laughs> it's not yet available. And the reason could be many, hundreds of OEM, different types of processors, different skin and all that. So when we want to back up everything in Android, we got to do a little bit here and there. And that's starting from going into your system. And this is the oldest one. I mean, how easy can that be? But this is the one that many people fail to do. I've already created different folders for different folders that I use. And when it comes to like backup from time to time, I also create folders with dates where I actually drop off some things because I jump around different ROMs and flashing and all this stuff. So now um, I also have memory card inside this phone, but uh, what I'm talking about is the things inside your internal storage. You know, you can also copy out the one from your SD card. As you can see, I also have a folder where I copy all this thing because if you are not doing this, if you haven't done this before now, <laughs> you're preparing yourself for a bad day, which most likely will happen. So um, you may not copy every folder, especially those folders that have with start with dots folders. You know, and if you can, if you haven't done before, copy that. Then you, if you if you can, copy all of them. If you can, just pick the ones that you feel that are important to you. Like for me, I pick my downloads um, because there are some application folders and other stuff. My WhatsApp folder where all my sent messages are, Telegram, um, the CIM that's for your camera and all this stuff. Of course, when we go further in the video, I'm going to show you how um, some other auto uh, automated backups. So you probably don't need to worry about that. But there are some things, some folders in your phone that doesn't back up, you know, automatically. So you have to make sure you copy it and have a copy of that. Some of downloaded documents, some of um, recorders, some of applications, some of some of the application Android doesn't have the capacity to save things, you know, online and in an automated way. So you have to make sure you copy some of them. It, it will vary from one person to the other, but make sure you just have the backup of all the important folders that you use or might need. Uh, this is very, very critical because if uh, phone damage, screen damage, phone theft, lost, you know, all this thing could happen. And when it happens, um, these files and folders can really come in handy. Um, I will show you later, you know, even the backup of APKs and all that stuff, how it can be done. Okay, let's look at some of basic automated backups that you need to set up in your phone. Um, very, very critical. We're going to start with Google Photos and that is most important because they say a picture speaks a thousand words and there are some moments that you can't just get back again. So go to Google Photos, go to the setting, select the folders. Google Photos can actually, you know, back up all kinds of folders. Select the folders that you want to back up. And then the next one on the line is your contacts, Google Contacts. So so I've done a video on that one. You can click on the cards right now to see it. And then the next basic one you also need to do for me, I do this one, SMS Backup and Restore. It's free. It's automated. It can back up to your cloud storage, all your call records and SMS. And it's wonderful. The next one, you can also back up some documents, although this is not yet automated, but you can just back it up. So make sure you like and subscribe this video because in the next video, uh, we're going to do a full up on this one. We're going to show you how to back up every app and app data. So for this one, this is for people who are not rooted. Um, there's no way in Android you can back up every application with the app data if you're not rooted. So you wonder why people are still rooting this one of them. So all you can do here is back up APKs and you can do that with like uh, APK uh, extractor like this. This one is APK extractor, but you have to do this one by one. So I have another way of doing it easily and faster using some file managers so that's important so most file manager can back up all your apks like that so like this one now you go to M mix explorer so you select all the apk and then you tap on that three menu at the top right and you will see option to back up and then it will start backing up your applications the apk files then there is another option um, you can use under browser many 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 uh file browser this is solid explorer solid can also do that for you go to the menu go down to applications and then select user apps because if you're not rooted you can actually back up uh, system apps 
So you select all and in this guy, uh, you just have to like copy when you select all you tap that three dot menu and then you know click on that transfer and you know copy to and then it will copy it all of it to another folder where you can have it but the one i like so much when it comes to backing up all your apk uh is uh, uh, es file explorer you go to the menu tap on the library and apps and select the app not just do i like this guy is very very fast so if you're not rooted, uh, it's you can only back up all only your APKs and not the app data. So you probably have to resign in and all this stuff. And that's the ES Explorer backing up all the APKs. The good thing about this guy also, it can actually keep versions. So I back it up from time to time. It keeps different versions. If there's an update else, it will just keep backing it up. It's finished while the Solid File Explorer is still trying to back up. So let's go check out um, some of these APKs and see where they are. So there's the backup. There's the one that the ES File Explorer has done, as you can see. Now, this is important because sometimes you don't even know all the app you've installed in your phone. I think it helps you to do that. Yeah. Solid Explorer is way behind ES File Explorer and this one. Uh, so that's about that. Um, there's actually a way to back up everything in your Android, but that is for rooted users and not everybody is actually rooting their phone these days. So um, whenever you have done your backup, especially that of the APK, make sure you copy all of them to your PC or system to keep it safer. So that's about that. We've covered uh, contacts, files, photos, videos, and almost every other thing you need. And you can do all this without rooting your phone. So let me hear from you in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe. I'll see you.